I get your point. And again, I did feel that same way. I wasn't, I didn't always know this Bible now. You understand? I didn't. Huh? It's not. It's full of it's full of wisdom that is too high for some people. So when, when they come in contact with that wisdom, it seems contradictory. Right? Just like if I can ask you when I can if you can tell me a contradiction in the Bible, I can break it down for you right now. Alright, so let's say we're we're made in the image of God, right? Right. Okay. So if we're in, made in the image of God. Image and likeness. Image and likeness of yeah. God. Is it safe to say that we are jealous beings? Oh yeah, absolutely we are. So is it safe to say that God is a jealous God? Yes, he is. Isn't that itself isn't that self not being perfect? Is it having no. the act of being jealous? No. Just like for instance, give me the law of jealousy in Deuteronomy. Right? Is it is, or numbers? Where's it at? Numbers. Give me the law. Let me show you something real quick. If something belongs to you. If something belongs, like you like you got your Adidas hat. You got your Adidas hat, right? And I take your Adidas hat and I have it, right? Is that, is, who was wrong? Is that, is, am I wrong or are you wrong? Yeah, that's it. I mean, like I said, it's perspective. No, it's not perspective. <laughs> that's why our neighborhoods is the way it is, because there has to be law established. So you would be jealous of your hat because I have it. That's within your right to be jealous because it belongs to you. It's your thing. I did was called stolen. I stole your hat. You understand? I envy that is sin to envy somebody else's things to the point that you are sinful, which is stealing. It's no contradictory there. Yes, you have the right to be jealous of what belongs to you. It belongs to you and somebody else took it. Somebody did evil to you. That's evil. That ain't just perspective. No, bro, somebody just stole from you. That's wrong. If there's no division on right and wrong, then why not just go and jump off the top of a building or something? Why not just do it? That's what's wrong with our communities. There's no difference between right and wrong. So we have to make the difference. We have to be wise and understand judgment. That judgment would be, that's your hat. You should be jealous. Watch this. The book of Numbers, chapter 5. And verse 11. Now this is a law for jealousy. A law for it. Watch this. And if a man speak unto Moses, I'm sorry, and the Lord speak unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, If any man's wife go aside, and commit a trespass against him, and a man lie with her carnally, and it be hid from the eyes of her husband. So this is a, a sister, right? A sister who belongs to a man, right? That's his wife. She go out. And she go and lie with another man. That's called adultery, right? She go and lie with another man. That's not, his, that's not her husband. That's called adultery, right? Watch this. And be kept close, and she be defiled, and there be no witness against her. Meaning, now he like, yo, where were you at last night? Where did you go? What did you do? Why are you acting like this? Why you, what's going on with you, right? Watch this. Neither she be taken with the matter. And the spirit of jealousy. Neither shall she be taken with the matter. So nothing is obvious that's going on. She ain't getting taken with the matter. Make she get pregnant, right? She ain't pregnant. She ain't uh, 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 just bounce with the brother. She come back home and everything, everything good. She ain't tell you that it happened. None of that, right? She just did. But you like, yo, it's some, some up with you. You different. Some, some ain't right, right? Watch this. Read it again. Verse fourteen. And the spirit of jealousy. And the spirit of what? Jealousy. There's a spirit of jealousy. But rightfully so if she ain't acting right. Where was you at last night? We was arguing, you bounce, you come back happy. What's going on? Right. What's going on? Yeah, you, <laughs> what's going on? So rightfully so that husband has what? Jealousy. 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 And that's rightfully so. That's rightfully so. Otherwise... Yeah, what? Oh, you, the other dude piped it down. Yeah, just whenever you want to go back, just go ahead. It's fine. It's complete. That's that's simple as hell. That's crazy. That's why it's AIDS, STD, all that running rampant in our communities. That's why. But there is a spirit of jealousy, and it's the, the point is that it be rightfully guided, rightfully guided. There's there's uh, 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 this is when you can be jealous. This is when you need to check your own spirit. Get your own mind right. You're bugging out, right? 
So it's just long as with, long as it's within realm of, of the law, realm of, of wisdom of God, it is what it is. So that's not a contradiction. What else you got? Okay, good. So let's learn about God some more. 20 again. So we're just going to read down a little bit. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. Right, so it's an eternal power and Godhead to say, I can't make a tree that was here before, long before me. But there was something that did this. There was something, I can't see him, neither do I, he's spoken to me, neither has he expressly manifest his own self to me. However, all these things that a man cannot create are everywhere around me and they were here before man. They were here before man. Clearly there's a God. Clearly there is a God. Read on. So that they are without excuse. They are without excuse. It does not make sense that there is no God. It does not make sense. Come on. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. But the problem is, when you find out there's laws, most people say there is no God because you understand if there is God, you understand that there is something that you must do to please him. Right. You understand there's responsibilities that you have for your soul. So a lot of people, especially our people, would like or rather say, there is no God. I don't believe in God. Because that's easier. Now I can continue stealing, smashing, smashing uh, uh, si my sisters and not marrying them, being a baby dad. I can continue doing any evil I want to do. And then just tell myself, it's no God. There is no God. And it's all a lie. Read on. Was it more on that? Come on. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts were dark. Right. He says, and their foolish heart was darker, meaning. Every day that they say that to themselves and they tell themselves that lie, you do more and more and more and more evil. You do more and more and more and more wickedness because you practice in an evil manner. You get good at anything you practice. Anything you practice, you're going to get good at it. You got any questions, brother? Huh? You just listening? All right, you know you're an Israelite? That's your nationality. I ain't telling you no religion. I'm not telling you my opinion. That's what you are. You can say, no, I'm not. Don't change it to your blood. That's what we talk. We're talking about bloodline. We're talking about what's in your blood. All right? We're talking about what's in your blood. What's in your blood is the DNA, the blood of Jesus, the blood of all the Israelites. That's what I'm talking about. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Ha!